Hello friends, I have a new interesting question for you. How can you describe a child to solve a quadratic equation without making him memorize the formula? So if this is a quadratic equation, so you need to explain to a child but without explaining this formula. So I have a new approach of solving this using a geometrical interpretation. So what about telling him a story of a robber so that he can understand this story on a long run? So let's get started with a story. Imagine that uh, a robber gets into your house and he breaks the lock down first and enters the room. So imagine if he enters a room which is by a shape a cube. This literally does not look like a cube but assume that it's a cube or it's every side are in the shape of a square. The robber finds a man sleeping in a pillow in the bed. Assume that this is the square pillow and above this pillow the head is lying in this way. So what the robber does is he tries to make the person unconscious by using his secret formula. He takes the card of Ace uh, which is uh, which contains some powerful formula to make the person unconscious. So he puts this Ace in the mouth, in the nose, in the eyes like this and he makes the person unconscious so if you know this story you can easily find the roots of the quadratic equation let's go and find out how it works let's consider this is a quadratic formula okay then at first what he does is he enters the room by breaking the lock down consider this value x as the door and this x has got a lock in it or the square represents the lock so what at first what we need to do is the robber gets the lock down so we need to bring out this lock down so we need to bring this two down bringing two down means just multiplying it with two so since he enters a square room so x is again the door so he enters the room from this side and reaches to this step so he doesn't go to another room so we stop here so this will be the expression for the size of the square so 4x minus 5 will be the size of the square since this is this x is another door so the, the robber doesn't go to that room so let's proceed we've already got the size of the square room like this and assume that this relates to the quadratic expression ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero so that we can compare easily the value for a, b, and c. Then, as we can easily find out the area of the square as length into length, so for x minus 5 whole square. And let's continue with the story. The robber finds the man sleeping on a big pillow. I call it big pillow because, so that you can remember, by this b, red b, which represents this b, so it will be minus 5 so the size of this square will be minus 5 again let's go in the big pillow is slipping a man and the robber uses the four pieces of ace cards to close the eyes nose and mouth so getting ace means there is the letters a and c which represents the a and the c so let's put the ss in the in the face like this so since it includes a and c so the size of this s card will be as in a rectangle with a and c so the value of a is 2 this is the size and c is minus 3 so minus 3 is the size you must know that the area cannot be negative we are just doing it to get our answer so let's proceed First of all, let's find the area of the big square or the area of the pillow, which is minus 5 into minus 5, which is 25. Then we need to find out the area of these four aces. So to find out the area, what we need to do is, since this is a rectangle, so we need to multiply 2 and minus 3 as 2 and minus 3. And since there are four S cards, so we multiply it by 4 to get the result as minus 24. 
so our final target is finding the area excluding the aces so if we find the area of a bigger circle and the area of the four aces then if we subtract these two areas so we need we can get the area excluding the aces which is 25 minus minus 24 which will be 49 so let's continue so to find the quadratic equation so to solve for the quadratic equation what we can do is we can equate these two areas so that gives yx minus 5 whole squared equals 49 so taking square root on both sides will get this result so we need to take plus and minus sign which will give this result then transposing the sides either we'll get 4x minus 5 equals 7 taking the positive sign then we'll reach to the result x equals 3 or if we take the negative sign 4x minus 5 equals minus 7 and transposing the sides we'll get the result so these are the two roots of the quadratic equation so let's check if we multiply these two values we should get the question yeah so this is the right answer so you may have one question how does it work so let's see how does it work so since this is the quadratic equation the general form of quadratic equation so as we have already said that first the rubber breaks down the log so what we did was we assume this two as the log and we break it down so we bring it down to the numerator like this hence it will generate in a form of 2ax plus bx plus c but since we have considered x as a doer so the thief first enters a square room and he doesn't enter to another room so the size of the square is like this that is 2ax plus b so we have got the square with size 2ax plus b whose area will be 2x plus b whole square then we have already talked about the pillow the big pillow uh, whose size is b or this b so this will be the size of the square then the robber puts four aces like this and aces means a and c or this a and this c so the dimensions of these aces cards is a and c then first we find the area of this big square which is b into b which is b square then we find the area of these four aces one two three and four so the area of one ace is a times c being the area of rectangle so which will be ac and the area of four aces will be four times ac so since we are targeting to find the area excluding these four aces so we need to subtract the area of the 4 aces from this bigger square so we'll get b squared minus 4ac so let's continue so we said that we can equate these two areas so that we'll get this result then taking square root on both sides we'll get this result then finally transposing the sides we'll reach this and finally we will come to the same quadratic equation formula as earlier so this is how it works so what you need to know is this is just a approach of teaching just by giving us some geometrical approaches to the algebraic problems and actual what we did in this uh, tutorial is that uh, we have done the area as negative but in actual or reality area cannot be negative so you should understand why it works so thanks for watching